I think of the set design as being really uh, an envelope for the whole production. My name is Mimi Lien and I'm a set designer. I create environments for live performance from very small theaters to pretty large theaters and large outdoor installations. I'm really interested in creating a spatial experience for the audience that is a part of this event that, that you're participating in. When I was a student studying architecture, we kind of thought of the experience of walking through a building as a series of theatrical events. When I discovered that set design existed as something that one could do, I was so excited because it felt like it was exactly the way that I wanted to think about space, but it was actually kind of fictional architecture. An example of that would be Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812, which is based on war and peace. It's as if you're in a crowded Russian supper club. I find that I think most intuitively with my hands, actually, and it's in the model building process that I really do all of my work. And I find that when I'm kind of thinking with my hands, instead of thinking too cerebrally, is, is often the results are most satisfying to me. The great thing about being a set designer is I feel like I have a laboratory for creating spaces that dictate human behavior. When I started working on an octoroon, much of the play is set on a plantation. We had the feeling that we didn't want the audience to be able to sit at a distance from it. We sort of wanted the audience to feel like, like this. They couldn't be complacent. The prologue is sort of on an empty stage. And then the next scene that happens, we basically cut to a plantation in the 19th century. The solution I ended up with was that the, what we thought to be the back wall of the theater actually falls towards the audience, lands about three feet from the feet of the front row, and boom, we're in a plantation which is represented by a sea of cotton balls. My husband and I decided to start Jack, a performance space in Brooklyn, where experimental performance could happen, pushing the boundaries a little bit more. When I think about how the MacArthur Fellowship is going to propel my work forward, I've been kind of waiting for a moment where my work might make a shift, and I feel like this is going to make that possible. It's just an amazing amount of faith and confidence, you know, that's been placed upon me. And I never imagined that being a set designer, <laughs> you know, that, that, this, that this could happen to me. Mm -hmm.